I would think about our country. Ladies and gentlemen, a moment of silence. The Heartsway Hospice Volunteer Program is looking for individuals from college age to retirement to bring comfort, friendship, or a tender ear to local families being served by Heartsway in Panola County and the surrounding areas. Heartsway provides training and support for your volunteer service. The enrichment you receive and the comfort you give is immeasurable. For more information, please call 903-690-9924 or visit the website at www.heartswayhospice.org. By repeating the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. At this time, we would like to have the Jacksonville High School Band perform the Jacksonville High School School Song. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jacksonville Indian School Song. Jacksonville Indian Band across the way. Here we are. That's the Jacksonville High School song. The Jacksonville Indians are out of District 14 for a Steve Wells is their coach. And he has a record of 18 and 14 at Jacksonville, 56 and 52 overall. Last year, the Indians 5 and 2 in District 14 for a Third place in the district. They were a by district finalist and finished up 7 and 4 for the season in the 4A District 2 division. And the starting quarterback this year is going to be Andrew Black. Black is starting this year, replacing his older brother Ryan Black. You may remember, you may remember Ryan Black from the last two years. Quite a scrambler, as Coach Surratt said in Coach's corner. He'd run to the right, run to the left, retreat 30 yards, throw it 40 yards downfield for a 10-yard gain. Uh, Andrew Black, I understand, is not as big a scrambler, but does have a little bit stronger arm. Their top uh, running back is going to be. Austin Gibson, 5'9", 160-pound senior. Uh, Ladarius Session, another running back. He's a junior. Their top receiver, Daryl Menifee, 5'8", 142-pound junior. We're coming to you live from Bulldog Stadium in Carthage, Texas. We'll return. And let's see. We won't go away right now. This is the Carthage High School alma mater. Carthage High School alma mater coming to you live from Bulldog Stadium. Let's take a break. We'll return with Bulldog 3A, three feet champions football on your sports beat station, KGAS. East Texas is a wonderful community, and at Panola National Bank, we're proud to call it home. That's why you'll find our bank and our employees helping others wherever you look. From supporting local schools to helping with local charity events, we're part of the fabric that weaves this community and its people together. When it comes to your money, local is better. We provide sensible banking services so we can help our community grow. 
Panola National Bank, member FDIC, and equal housing lender. Monty Bacon and the staff at Carthage Furniture will keep you cool during the summer. Frigidaire 5000 BTU 110 volts that will cool one room only $145. 12000 BTU Frederick Air Conditioner 110 volts and it cools two rooms only $449. A 15000 BTU Frigidaire Air Conditioner 110 volt cools three rooms only $499. And an 18000 Frederick Air Conditioner 220 volts cools four rooms only $599. Behind the car wash on West Panola, Carthage Furniture. And be sure and check out his uh, BTU Fredericks that cooled one room. It's only $145 at Carthage Furniture behind the car wash on West Panola. Harris along with me tonight as he has been for a number of seasons. Now, how many is, is this, Mark? Is this four or five or six? Or? We've done every bit of Surratt's ball games. I know that together. Uh, and I think we might have done some of Bickham's at the end of the, the year that in center. I know we did that last center ball game when we lost okay. it on purpose. And, uh, <laughs> okay. But the, the town is What are you a, looking for tonight? <laughs> the town is a buzz. And uh, the last month, Larry, I know you probably get the same thing I get. I get people saying, hey, what's the Bulldogs going to be like? What are they going to be like this year? You know, who's the quarterback? Who's he going to be? You know, and bless Hunter Walden's heart. He tried his hardest, and the injury just kept him from being uh, our starting quarterback. And uh, But we, we're taking to uh, count. We're going to put a little bogey in here. And... Uh, bank on him uh, people keep asking me we're we gonna go back to state and I said well I sure hope so I'm planning on 16 games again Larry and I and Jerry don't get to stay home on Friday nights in the fall very often in the last four or five years but uh, the town's a buzz everybody's talking about they're pumped up uh, they're ready to see us uh, close the door on four the introduction of officials tonight brought to you by Mark West Energy Partners Mark West Energy Partners is an independent operator of large diameter, low pressure gathering systems interested in keeping our Panola County gas bills at a minimum. Mark West Energy Partners is also a proud Bulldog booster. All right, these gentlemen are from the East Texas chapter. Jake Walker is the referee, umpire is Thomas Flowers, Daniel Pipop, Pipak, excuse me, is the head linesman, Chris Walker, the lines judge and Randall McGill is the back judges. Again, uh, Jake Walker is the referee for tonight's ball game. Let's see if our man, Dustin Burns, is out of the dressing room yet. I'm sure he is. Dustin, if you can hear us, come on in and tell us what Coach Surratt said. Able to make it in the, uh, up there in the field house. This one was going on, I kind of had a little emergency, but uh, I'm gonna get back on the field now. I'll let y'all go ahead and start, it, start, the, start the show as we begin the 2011 season here and uh, I'll go ahead and throw it back up to you guys. All right, thanks very much. We're coming to you live from Bulldog Stadium and the Bulldogs are getting ready to make their entrance. Well, Mark, just listening to Coach Surratt in uh, Coach's Corner and visiting with him before and afterwards, uh, you know, I, I, there are some question marks. I'm would not going to be surprised at all if we don't lose a couple in preseason, pre-district, but, uh, uh, you know, you never can count this team out with the coaching staff that we've got. Remember last year, Larry, we won the first game, struggled against Jacksonville, got beat uh, by Nagadoches, got really beat up on in Chapel Hill which I think was one of the best things that happened to us because it brought us back down to earth that we were not invincible and we could be beat. And I think that those were good learning experiences and we may have that this year. Uh, we could go 0-5, you know, before we get to district. And then look at our district with Gilmer uh, sitting there waiting on us and Henderson. So, uh, you know, it's going to be a tough road all the way this year.
side of the 40, out of bounds at the 43. Okay, Dustin, down to you. Well, we had a good first offensive series. Uh, we had a sophomore quarterback, uh, then we had a sophomore tailback, a few short passes to get him comfortable. Offensive line did a good job. Uh, you're going to see a lot of different kids at running back. Receiver, you'll see uh, Justin Williams at running back. Receiver, you'll see Major meet you coming. But the one thing defense right now is uh, Rick Ingram. I'm on the pain and the he's in there playing outside linebacker. It's great, great to see him back. Third down and five. Four wide outs to the right, one to the left. Here's Black looking right, looking right, throws right. It's caught at just short of the midfield marker. He has a first down just in Carthage territory. It'll be a first down for the Indians after about a seven yard gain. Yeah, there was a pass out in the open out there on the, on the stripes. Uh, and just enough for a first down. Uh, it's going to be hard to adjust, to get to adjust to this quarterback because uh, a passing attack, you've got to really make your adjustments. So uh, when they come off the field, I'm sure the coach will bring him on the sidelines and do his adjustments. All right, first and ten for Jackson. We'll call it the midfield marker. It's on the right hash. Ball just to the right of the Red Sea. Here's Black. Dropping back, looking left, looking left, hit. Ball flutters up in the air. It's caught by Menifee. A nice catch down at the Bulldog 32 for another first down after a gain of 18. Yeah, and we had men all the way around them, and it just was a perfect pass in that situation. He'd go way up and get the ball, and he did. We had another Bulldogs around at the time to make the tackle, but not before it was a first down. All right, we'll give him a gain of 17 on the play. Black is now... 3 of 3 for 28. Bogan shoots on his first drive. 3 of 3 for 46. Now it's first and 10. Indians at the dog. 33. Ball on the left hash. They split trips, trips to the right and one to the left. Black in the gun. Snap back to Black. Looking right. Throws right to a man coming out of the flat. And let's see. Out in the flat. And it's caught. And across the 30-yard line to about the 28. Gain of 5 on the play. Good play out there by Michi Bowman. He was getting blocked. Shucked his block. and didn't make the tackle. Uh, not before a pretty good gain, five yard gain. Here we got 7.09 in the first quarter, six to nothing Carthage. Second and five for the Indians at the dog 28 yard line. Second and five for the Indians at the 28. Carthage up by a touchdown here in the first quarter. Just under seven minutes to go. And the Indians are up to the line of scrimmage. Eight seconds left on the play clock right now as it counts down. Black. Looking over the Carthage defense, black in the gun. We're threatening the blitz and an early flag. Well, we caused him to jump. I don't know if they're going to call it on us. We had a man easing in there, uh, and then one of our linemen jumped, but I don't know if he got in the neutral zone. But they, they blew it dead, so it makes you think it's a false start. Five-yard penalty against Jacksonville moves it back to the 33. Again, Black will be in the gun. This time he's going to have with him in the backfield Session, Ladarius Session, and three Indians split to the left and one to the right. Black awaiting the snap. There's a snap. He's looking left, looking left, throws. This one is, that's a broken route right there by somebody. Someone uh, was not on the same page as the, the other Indian, and it falls incomplete. No one there. Looked like maybe we were a little bit uh, out of sync too. We, if he'd have thrown the ball correctly, he had a man wide open. Uh, so I don't know if that was designed or not. Third down and ten. Third and ten now for Jacksonville at the Carthage 33. And the Bulldogs now going with only a three-man defensive front. So we've got eight back on third down and ten. Third and ten. Snap back to Black. Black looking. Going with the screen, coming left.